Hey, what's up? Uh, the light's on again. Um, sorry, it's, there's such a long period of time in between videos, it's just that school has been taking up a lot of my time lately, so, yeah, I'm really doing, doing what I can. Um, I figured that since, um, I've been following music this year closer than I have any other year, like, um, keeping up with every new release that I'm interested in, um, which is a lot, uh, there's still a shitload I need to listen to that I really, really want to. It's just, um, it takes a while to get solid opinions of everything that I listen to, so that's why I, you know, kind of get behind sometimes. Um, I figured that, um, as of now, I just give you a little update on, so far, what is the, the best of this year and the worst, um, best and worst album. Um, the best, I really don't think anyone or any album is going to, uh, you know, take out of its place, um, and that album is Knife Man by Andrew Jackson Jihad, um, I don't actually own the album yet, I really hope to soon, but, um, so I have nothing to, like, lift up or anything, I just been downloading a lot lately just because I need more music, you know, <laughs> um, I said that in a past video, but anyway, if you're not familiar with Andrew Jackson Jihad, they are a folk punk band, um, you know, combined folk with punk, um, very, uh, unpolished, very, uh, almost satirical at times, very, very smart, um, uh, just sincere, awesome, awesome band, um, they really embody that sort of punk spirit, but with sort of that just, uh, singer-songwriter kind of, um, skill, you know, just that, that, uh, there's a word for it, I'm not really, it's not coming out, but like, you know, that, where you can just pick up a guitar and just every word that you sing matches perfectly with the chords you're playing, and just, they're just really, really good, and this album is sort of their peak. Um, it's perfect, really, to be honest, it's the only album this year that I've heard that I can say that about, there's lots of other albums that are also really, really good, but, this one, there's not a single moment on it that I am not in sweet, blissful love with. Um, it's it's not a concept album, but all of the songs do revolve around one common theme of just dealing with human things that we don't like. Dealing with ourselves, dealing with other people, dealing with shitty situations that we're placed in. And the lyrics talk about these things absolutely brilliantly. Um, one thing that they do that I have heard on few other albums is well, <laughs> everything that, every story that they start, every exploration that they begin, they always finish. If they talk about a problem in the beginning of the song, at the end of the song, they tell you how to solve it. Um, the perfect example is in the song, uh, People Part 2, 2, Still People, and um, it kind of talks about how we have all these problems, and but then when we compare them to bigger problems like, oh, well, why are you complaining about this? There's world hunger, you know, how we feel even shittier about our problems. It makes all that guilt go away with just one stanza at the very end where he says, you don't have it any better, you don't have it any worse, you're an irreplaceable human soul with your own understanding of what it means to suffer. Simply stated and and so true, you know, um, yeah. The, the album also is just so hilariously self-aware, um, it just, it knows when the lyrics sound a bit ridiculous sometimes, and it just, it just, you know, just just kind of laughs at itself, you know, uh, there's one part where in uh, the song Distance where he says, and I hate whiny fucking songs like this, but I can't afford a therapist, sorry guys, here's a solo, and he plays a solo, it's just like, it's like that's just something that you're not supposed to hear in music, but you just do, and it's awesome, and it's so funny, and just so heartwarming, and just, ah, uh, I mean, everything about the album is just amazing, it's, uh, Everything is placed in the perfect the perfect spot, you know, there's plenty of just more just straight acoustic songs and then more punk, you know, electric, you know, songs and and the album or uh the closer, Big Bird, is uh is really 
it's quite epic. It's neither folk nor punk. It's kind of this um, big, emotionally grueling, just, you know, closer. He ends the song saying, I am a knife, like, super long and just over everything. I think there's some synths going on in there and just big, soaring chords and, and all that good stuff. And I could talk and talk and talk about the album, just kind of naming off the highlights. So there's not a single song on the album that isn't worth mentioning. Uh, every song is great. Um, oh, one that I bet a lot of people would like would be a American tune where he kind of he makes fun of how it's the uh, the straight white males in America that get the best treatment. Um, the chorus is uh, so if I see a penny on the ground, I leave it alone or fucking flip it. I'm a straight white male in America. I've got all the luck I need, <laughs> and it's so funny in the way he just says it. It's so nonchalantly it's just it's awesome uh yeah lyrically probably one of my favorite albums ever well actually i think in time it'll become one of my favorite albums in general ever um so yeah definitely best album of the year definitely uh now as for the worst album i bet you might think that i'm gonna say the new morbid angel album what's it called again illid Divin divinium insanus or something um <coughs> Which is very, very bad. Uh, an experiment gone horribly wrong, definitely. But not the worst. The worst goes to Conviction by the Crimson Armada. They are a um, a once promising, once sort of promising uh, Christian deathcore band. Uh, yeah, I still kind of follow that, that stuff that I kind of got popular on YouTube for talking about a lot. Um, you know, I, I'm still following that. You know, the new Born of Osiris album, really, really good. I did a review on that. Um, I've heard some stuff about volumes and structures and uh, shit, what else? I don't know. Just just the stuff that I think I'll really like. I just kind of follow just for old time's sake, I guess. But um, I, uh, I checked out this new Crimson Armada album because their last album, Guardians, uh, I had some friends who told me about it and said it was... It was good and sort of unique for Deathcore just because it had a, a lot more focus on, you know, musicianship and technicality, sort of a lot more death metal than hardcore or than metalcore. Um, and, yeah, it was. It was. It's Guardians is actually a pretty good album. It is, I wouldn't call it unique, but it's a bit different from your typical Deathcore. It's, it's much more uh, musical than... Um, suicide silence and you know bands like that but uh this new album conviction it doesn't even sound like the same band i don't know what the fuck the band was thinking but they totally they just veered off you know like they're in a fork in the road with guardians and this road is becoming a really good deathcore band and this road is just going to shit and they took that way um it's not so real. I mean, the album is really bad, but what makes it even worse, though, is how. I mean, they can they can play their instruments, and they sort of have traces of songwriting ability here and there. But what makes it really, really terrible is how they just just blatantly take everything that makes a lot of modern metalcore the really popular stuff that you see at hot topic so shitty and they just it's like it's like tinker toys like they have all of these pieces of like generic breakdowns and a mirror-esque uh like half screaming half yelling talking that go up and up and higher and higher and higher breakdown you know that thing they put that in there and it's just like interlocking pieces there's not a single thing on the album that i don't feel like i've heard before there is nothing on the album that affects me in any way i'm just sitting here and it's all just going by i i swear to god i've heard some of these riffs note for note before in other bands and other bands before those bands and it's just really really sad how they were so promising and then now they're this you know that's also sort of what adds to my hatred for the album is like i'm listening to it i'm just like no why why it makes me sad it really does <coughs> i mean it's just so 
mind-numbing. It's like, it's like asking Alexandria mind-numbing. It's like, it make you feel dumber after you listen to it. It's just so fucking boring. You know, just... Dun, 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 throw, throw some Gothenburg riffs in here and then just... Dun, 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 dun. Now slow it down so it just sounds like one big long fucking gimmick. And Man, I lost all respect for those guys, definitely. Ugh. Yeah, so avoid that album like the plague. Uh, it's not even funny how bad it is. Like, it's not like... Well, actually, I haven't heard Lulu yet by the new Metallica and Lou Reed, uh collaboration. I have a feeling that that'll be a little amusing, but, um, yeah, you can't even laugh at it. It just either, you're just either bored out of your mind or it just makes you mad, you know? It's worthless. There's not a thing on it that differentiates it from any other album of its kind, you know? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, ugh, gross. Um, so yeah, you have the two opposite ends of the spectrum there right now for 2011. Uh, other albums I think that are probably my top five for the year uh, would be uh, uh, The Collective by Scale the Summit, uh, instrumental metal. Uh, not just it's not just one big long shred fest though. It's um, it's uh, it's really creative, very actually quite emotional instrumental you know, metal stuff. If you like uh, Animals as Leaders or um, uh, fuck, um, Live by Mistake, bands like that, you'd probably like it, uh, No Delusion by Thursday, post-hardcore alternative stuff, very, very awesome, uh, album, the Coloring Book EP by Glassjaw, more, uh, sort of post-hardcore, post-hardcore with some trippy keyboards, uh, And So We Destroyed Everything by Sleep Makes Waves, really, really good post-rock, uh, if you like, um, maybe she will, or um, uh, you know, post rock. <laughs> it's very awesome, uh, very uplifting, sort of playful uh, post rock. Um, maybe she will. They put out a really good album this year too. And uh, Dirge by Worm Rot, really nasty, awesome, extremely well written grindcore album. So, but yeah, nothing tops Knife Man so far, and nothing probably will this year. So, definitely check that out. Um, I'll try to make videos more often. I'll really do my best, and, uh, thanks for watching.